All right, so not like the WWE is going to see this, but at least I can hope that some of you fans or a lot of you fans will agree with this. Maybe not, though, since I'm an older wrestling fan. Uh, grew up with Hogan in the 80s. Um, and I'm not going to get into TNA. I don't know enough of what's going on, and I don't really care for their product. It's comparable to eating day-old bread, which is the WWE, or week-old bread, which is TNA. Sorry, I mean, that's how it is. We'll see if they catch up. But um, So basically, five things that I notice about the WWE that needs improving really badly. Um, and this fifth one is a little controversial. I'm not trying to be sexist, but frankly, this is how it is. Um, women need to have more defined roles in the WWE. Um, if they can wrestle, good. Give them some match time like the guys build up stories like the guys let them have personalities, uh, more definable personalities, you know, uh, almost all of them, unfortunately, are just, you know, tube top, tiny little ass shorts, hotties, and that's great, but let's either have them be hotties, or be wrestlers. Um, good examples, the Bella Twins, they can't wrestle. I mean, I'm sorry, Beth Phoenix, she can wrestle, she's a great wrestler, and that's, I think that's proof that she's in the Royal Rumble. Um, you know, if they can wrestle, great. If not, and they want to wrestle instead of just being eye candy, get them in development. The fourth point I have, um, pretty important, let's, I hate to say this, but let's just scrap ECW. It's horrible nowadays. It's not. It's not the same. It's not really ECW. Um, there's some talented guys on the show. Um, so basically, Mr. McMahon would do well to just scrap the show. It's not getting that great ratings. Um, some of the and you know the talented guys on the roster, ECW roster, should. Go to SmackDown and Raw. Um, everyone wants to see Christian off of, uh, ECW. I think it's a waste that he's got the ECW championship. Um, it's a nice little accolade for him. Look, it's a joke. Everyone said it. I read somewhere that RVD totally thinks uh, the same way. And, I mean, I think most everyone would agree. Ship some of the guys off to development if they're not... You know, ready for SmackDown or Raw. Christian's ready for Raw or SmackDown. I'd rather see him on Raw, but, um, you know, let's end the joke right now. Uh, ECW is not at all what it used to be. It's a horrible copy. The third point I have is... Um, you know, we're not morons, Vince. Uh, some of us, some wrestling fans are, but uh, there's plenty of people who actually have a mind and are offended that certain people get shoved down our throats. John Cena. Let's, I mean, let's just face it. Um, you know, he's kind of a charismatic guy. He's a decent wrestler, um, but... Unlike Stone Cold, unlike The Rock, unlike any uh, major superstar uh, in their prime, he's not there. He he deserves to be in that in those world title WWE championship rate, uh, hunts. Um, the thing is, he's not the only good superstar there. Let's build up some of that new talent. Um, Kofi. I love to watch Kofi in action, and he's good on the mic. John Morrison, I really don't watch SmackDown that much, but I like what I see when I see him. Um, and from what I've heard, he's really good on the mic. Let, let's you know, let's push him up a little bit. Yeah, Sheamus, Sheamus is good on the mic, and uh, he's a good wrestler. Like uh, like his moves. Um, so we are seeing a little bit of them 
trying to develop new superstars into those top tier faces and heels that we want to see. Um, but, you know, we don't all like John Cena. Let people not like John Cena. The second point I want to make, and it's really, it's really important actually, let's stretch the pay-per-views out a little bit. Why do you think the pay-per-view rates are so, uh, buy rates are so down? If they're every three weeks, they're not special anymore. It used to be at least a month and a half. You know, really should be like the old days. month and a half or two months in between them. It seems like a long time, but hey, you've got, you've got Raw, you've got SmackDown to contend with throughout the weeks. And those are important to build that pay-per-view up. Um... Let's see some real build-up on some of these matches. When they're every three weeks, it's like, oh, this guy's fighting this guy. Oh, okay. Would you rather have two crappy pay-per-views in two months' time, or would you have rather have a really good pay-per-view with tremendous buy rates in that two months' time? I know what I want. The number one issue I have right now, uh, somewhat of a recent change that they've done, is going to PG. Um, that's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Uh, why do you think you have such low ratings and buy rates nowadays besides the build-up like I was talking about? Um, it's basically because we have such a watered-down, wimpy version of what we had back then. Uh, you know, in the golden era, supposedly. A lot of people like to call it that. Um, it, it's got to stop. Uh, would you... 18 to 34-year-olds have probably got to be your your highest uh, market. And if not, who, we don't need to cater to kids. Kids have enough going on nowadays that they don't need to watch wrestling until they're a late teenager. And they can handle... Uh, some blood. They can handle, um, you know, more cleavage and a uh, little more sexuality. So, the, I mean, there it is. Those are my five issues. Really, the first two would be huge improvement. Like, if those got improved, watch in six months. People will be talking about wrestling again. People will be spouting catchphrases like they used to. Um, and your buy rates, your ratings are going to go way up, Mr. McMahon. Uh, should anyone pass this along to you? <laughs> I doubt it. But um, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, that's mostly what I uh, want to know. Um, why do you think the WWE is in such a poor state right now? Um, comment, rate, subscribe. Give me some five-star love. Sorry to be a horror right there but uh, that's how it is let me know